Good morning. This is tip number 25. Mataji. Today I wish you a very happy Purnima for all of you. And I hope that your day is full of peace and smiles. And that you share your smiles with others all day long. Buddhism satisfies man's most profound aspirations and it's able to bear stress and strain of man's everyday life, helping him in his contacts with his fellow men. Besides giving a purpose to life, it does not instill fear in people at all. It brings only love and tells us that good begets good and bad begets bad. Every action has its reaction. These are universal laws. The Buddha Dhamma fully agrees with these laws and hence everyone should have to reap what they sow. Evil deeds are happening by people due to their greed, their anger and ignorance. At this time, they are angry, full of anxiety, pent up because of COVID. Such weaknesses can only be overcome through self-realization you have the power to change. Your mind is the forerunner of everything you do. The pleasure and pain which people experience in this world are not due to external influences, but due to the good and bad actions, the words and the deeds which we ourselves commit. And for this reason, the Buddha told us we are the results of what we were and we will be the results of what we are. What we were does not mean just past lives. For every day, what we think and ponder on, that becomes the inclination of our mind. What we do in the present moment, that dictates what will happen in the future. So what you think in the morning and how your disposition is will carry through your day. If you think darkly in the morning, you will think darkly all day. If you think brightly in the morning, you will be kind and generous throughout your day. The advice the Buddha gave us was to forgive anyone in front of us and always to have compassion and give them space for their pain. Be kind to them and send loving kindness to them. So forgiveness is something we can do right away each day. Now, as we practice this way, we are purifying our minds all the time. And to celebrate Purnima, what could be better than to practice the Buddha's words all day long? How do you purify your mind? It isn't that difficult, my friend. What do I do to purify my mind? Practicing right effort. Keeping your mind with healthy images and happy thoughts. Choosing always the kindness of loving kindness and compassion in everything you do. Forgiving each other because we are all having a common difficulty. We have been locked up. Now we know what it is like to 
look into ourselves? Can we purify our minds while we are locked up like this? Yes, we can. But how can we do this day to day? It isn't that difficult. When anything comes up in your mind that bothers you or disturbs you, first you think, never mind, let it be. Then you let go of it. You relax your head and mind. You smile and come back to what you're doing. Your smile uplifts your mind. So this practice is purifying our minds. First, we are seeing something dark. We are letting go of it. We are relaxing our head. Then we are bringing up something bright. Our smile and kindness, our compassion, our loving kindness. And then we are forgiving whatever is coming towards us. If someone is saying something bad, and we are returning it with love. What could be kinder than this lesson that the Buddha gave us? This is what he taught us. So I want you to have a very happy Purnima today. I'm very sorry that you cannot come to the temple. I'm sorry there are no parades and flowers are not falling from the sky. But perhaps we can have a celebration when all of this is uplifted. That would be a good celebration to share in common with everyone. I want you to have a happy day and think as you go your way. Never mind. I'll let that go. Relax. Smile and come back. I'll smile. And try to uplift the person who is in front of me. Have a happy day. Happy Purima. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.